Have you ever ordered something from eBay that was almost too affordable? Like a designer dress for $20? You thought you were getting a good deal, right? You really thought like, damn, I'm good at this. I should shop more often on eBay. You text in your grandma in the group chat like, hey grandma, you know we made it. But then when you got it, it looked nothing like it did in the picture, right? How did I know? Because it happened to me. And then I did a professional photo shoot with a model wearing those clothes. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to take some cheap eBay wedding dresses and make them look expensive. That's where I hope this video is headed. <laughs> A wedding dress can cost more than a car. But on this channel, it's gonna cost less than one of those tires. It's gonna be a really good tire. So the average price of a wedding dress in the United States is $1,564. Not all of us have access to a you know professional stylist that can go get us thousand dollar dresses. Sometimes we have to just make do with what we have. And that's exactly what I did. So I went on eBay and I tried to look for the most designer looking dresses. Basically any listing that had a really fancy picture of a model wearing the dress. You know, from like the runway or just anything that looked super, super fancy. I was on there for a couple of hours going through listings. I came across three that I really liked. I bought three for under $450. And they're supposed to be designer, but you know, they didn't come out like that. <laughs> So I spent an average of $138 on each dress. That's money you could spend on pizza. Thank me later. So after about two months, the dresses finally came in. Me and my sister Lisa had a little unboxing moment where we opened up the packages and, you know, we gave our reactions to the dresses. I'm kind of scared. Oh my god. Okay. This is actually not ugly at all. What the hell? Yeah, this is cute. This is like bleached teeth white. Yeah, it's like way too white for me. This is like you're really trying to prove something at the wedding. Like, hey, I'm pure. I'm this pure. <laughs> like, I think this is whiter than my teeth. It's whiter than toilet paper. Is it coming out? Where are you? I'm trying Why to is it yellow? What color did you order? I don't even know. I don't even remember. <laughs> this looks Ooh. really nice. <laughs> We knew that they weren't going to come out exactly like the pictures. I think that was the fun of it. The dress is not looking like the pictures. And how I can make this dress look even more expensive than what it is. So after we got the dresses, I quickly set up a studio photo shoot with a model so that we can start photographing these dresses. So my strategy was to try to get movement in the dress and really showcase the dress in the pictures. And I tried to keep lower angles or higher angles. I felt like that kind of showed more of the dress rather than me shooting straight, you know, facing the model. I did a simple one light setup with a large octobox and I also used some natural light, you know, just to mix it up. Oh man, okay, my bad. So the whole point of this video is just to show you guys, you don't need expensive designer dresses or 
outfits to get good pictures you can get something that is more affordable and a lot cheaper and still make it look just as good so let me know which dress you think i photographed best and as always thank you guys so much for watching okay i can't do this i can't put the bat the dress back into the bag